Hello everyone and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. So a bit of a um a different video for you guys now. I've been wanting to talk about this for a while. Um now what I wanted to talk about is Chelsea and Graham Potter because you know at the minute it is a complete mess at Chelsea. They've just got knocked out of the Champions League as well to Real Madrid. You know, they've spent over two hundred million pounds in January, so it's really not going very well for Chelsea at the minute. So I just want to talk about my opinion on this and also my opinion on whether they should have sacked um on whether they made the right decision to sack Graham Potter. Um, now, as you know, they have appointed Frank Lampard as manager. And to be honest, guys, this really baffles me because I know he's been manager before and Todd Bowley's obviously listened to the fans who did want um, them to get rid of Potter. But Lampard doesn't have a clue. I mean, he just lives off his name. He's not a very good manager at all. Um, and you might as well have kept Potter till the end of the season because Potter is a better manager than um, Frank Lampard. You know, Potter's Chelsea were doing a lot better than Frank Lampard. Chelsea have been doing the work. Pot I mean, Potter's Chelsea were having loads of shots on goal. They were just not um, taking their chances. So I think Chelsea definitely made the wrong decision. And I know a lot of Chelsea fans were pleased when they appointed Frank Lampard. But for me, you might as well have just, just kept Potter. And I do feel sorry for Potter. But I think he will join um, another Premier League club um, in the summer. Um, possibly like a Southampton or something like that. But I just also want to touch on the ownership because... Obviously, Todd Bowley's came in with no plan at all. You know, he's just spent a ridiculous amount of money and he clearly doesn't understand football. You know, I think he just thinks, you know, you just spend loads of money and instantly become one of the best teams in the world. But that's not the case. You've got to build a team. You've got to have a togetherness in your team. And it's all about the tactics. You know, you can't just expect... You can't just expect to spend over two hundred million and your team to be one of the best teams in the world. And I don't even think he understands um what the offside rule is either. Um. So, and and also Todd Bowley said um that he predicted that Chelsea would batter Real Madrid three nil. So I mean that hasn't came true as well. So in my opinion, I think um. Chelsea fans, get your comments down below, but I think Todd Bowley is really sort of um, making himself out to be an idiot because, you know, some of the comments he's saying is very stupid, you know, and I'm, I sort of think, did Potter even want these players? Because um, when Chelsea signed Mudrick for £100 million, Potter did say in his press conference, oh, he's a very good player, he's very technical, but he didn't seem too bothered so is this just Todd Bowley um who wants these players and Potter doesn't even want these players so I wouldn't put the blame on Potter I would blame the Chelsea owners and I would have kept Potter I think um they just listened to Chelsea fans but I would have um, stuck with Potter of course I'm a Newcastle fan so I don't want Chelsea to do well but I would I would have stuck with Potter because I think it probably would have worked out in the end but it's just absolutely ridiculous the way Chelsea has run if I was you know, Chelsea fan, I would be embarrassed because you've got an owner there. Despite him, you know, having the right intentions and wanting to spend loads of money to make Chelsea um, successful, you know, he's just making the wrong decisions. And I know Thiago Silva as well has um, came out and also publicly criticised Todd Bowley. He basically just said that uh, mistakes have been made and the club have brought too many players in in January. And, you know, he's spot on there. And, you know, when your own player comes out and says that, you know that things aren't going right. And just normal football fans like me and you, you know, when we know that Chelsea is a complete mess, you know that um, 
that, that something is wrong and obviously I'm sure Todd Bowley has the, the best intentions um, to make Chelsea a great team but you know he's just um, he doesn't you know, for me, Todd Bowley just um, he just doesn't really uh, understand football, and you know, I think to be honest, they've they've spent way too much money. I think they've brought in the wrong players. I've heard a lot of people also saying that Mudrick and Jao Felix and Enzo Fernandez are flops, but that's simply not true. Um, I'll take Mudrick for example. He's he's made a huge jump to go from the Ukrainian league to the Premier League, one of the best leagues in the world. So it's just his price tag that makes people think he's going to uh, do fantastic straight away, but that's not necessary not necessarily the case you know he's shown um he's shown bits of quality that he's going to become a fantastic player and i'm sure he will do but at the minute it's tough times for chelsea and i think he will turn out to be a good player so just have faith in him i know he's not doing great at the minute but he's not going to go from the ukrainian league to the premier league and instantly start banging in a load of goals it's just because of his price tag i think that sort of um, people are, are going on about him as well. For me, Enzo Fernandez, they've they signed him from Benfica for a for a hundred and twenty million pounds in the summer, and for me, he has also uh, been impressive as well. I know Kant is just came back from injury as well, so. Um, to be honest, um, let's see if things get better for Chelsea. They've got tough games. Last game of the season, they play uh, my team, Newcastle. So that is going to be a tough game for uh, Chelsea. Let's hope Newcastle can beat them. But anyway, guys, just a bit of a different video. Um, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, the support on the Aston Villa match reaction video has been incredible. Um, keep hitting that like button and make sure to subscribe if you do enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.